It's 6 a.m. It's Friday. We're making coffee. She has some light in here. Whew. Oh, this happens sometimes. I'm trying to slide back on. It's okay. It's normal. So, um, it is Friday the 9th. Um, as you can see, we're going to visit VW. And uh, Heather's getting her 40,000 mile maintenance. She's very, very excited. I've never seen her excited in her whole life. Um, it's, it's a big day for us and, um, and therefore the world. So what's going on? I need to do the MacBook Pro Shuffle where I take one of these and not the other. And... Hey, are you bringing your laptop out there? She's, she's not. So just don't break her laptop. She would get really pissed off. Um, but she's lucky because she doesn't have uh, Haldex or DSG, so her 40K is going to be fairly inexpensive. Um, my car, on the other hand, um, it could be super cheap, so I think we're just going to be doing, um, I've asked them to look into my uh, CarPlay issues, which I'll try to, I'll try to show you guys um, on the way, I should get my other camera, I'll try to show you guys what it looks like. I haven't talked about it yet because it always happens that I'm like on the way to work and I actually don't want to take a camera with me and record. So, um, but basically what's happening is my system locks up uh, completely, no matter what kind of phone I'm using. Um, and we'll just stop playing music. Uh, that's the first issue. I'm also thinking I have an exhaust leak, so I'm going to have them do an exhaust test. Uh, also do a battery test and also do a software update and then just do a general overview inspection of the car. Oh. And give me a quote on the um, the rust issue I'm having on my door. So all that today might end up being no cost to me. Um, or if it is not, it might be super expensive. So we're going to we're gonna see. But I need to go into coffee. So I'll give that to you guys in a second. Well, supposedly it's five degrees outside. Yeah. She's struggling. Oh, it's negative two. Well, there you go. <laughs> Negative two then. Interesting. So let's let the car run up for about 30 seconds, then we'll get in and drive off. And Walpole, New Hampshire. That is not an We are uh, totally my style to seeing the sunrise. Uh, so yeah, so we are uh, heading on to Keene, New Hampshire to get some Volkswagen service done. Um, Heather is in tow right behind me. You know, that's one thing that a lot of people, uh, I try to mention quite often, which is, you know, this is not an easy thing for me. Like my, my United Motorsport dealer is two hours south. My VW dealer is an hour and a half south. And um, the guy that does work on aftermarket stuff in my car is 45 minutes south. And, uh, you know, so getting those guys, you know, getting all them together to work on a common issue is really time consuming. Um, the, the freeze has not happened today, although I do have, um, I, I do have, I, I know, thank you. Uh, I, I do have codes stored for the, um, for the issue though, so I can show them what's happening. Um, so let's, let's hope that it works out. I don't know. <laughs> um, we also discussed that Heather and I are going to, um, figure out this issue. Let, let me, let me give you guys an example what's going on. Call. Hey, uh, I'm doing a video thing here to show people what our echo issue is. Okay. So, am I echoing? Oh, yeah. I am too. Yeah, it's like, just, just, it, it, uh, it's hard to explain, but it's like your, your microphone is picking up my voice and my microphone is picking up your voice. Right. I, it's almost like if you own a Volkswagen, you can't make friends with any other Volkswagen owners or you're going to have this problem. But I have this issue and I'm not sure who I'm talking to whether they own a Volkswagen or not. Well, no, I know. I had the same issue, but I'm saying I feel like it's always twice as bad when I talk to you. Oh, I don't think so for me. I think it's just as bad when I talk to anybody else. Okay. Well, that was all. I just wanted to videotape it. Okay, bye. Bye.
So that's the issue that we're having with the uh, with the Bluetooth. We've had the issue ever since we first got the vehicles. Uh, both of our both of our cars are MQB Mark Seven Golf uh, platform vehicles, and um, we each have this awful echoing issue. So uh, today's to do items is I uh, have CarPlay updated or the MIB Two system updated. See if there's a map update available for my nav. Uh, have them do an exhaust check, have them do a battery check, uh, have them do a uh, Bluetooth check, and um, just general inspection. Oh, and the, the, the spot that I have on the side of my car. Basically, a rock hit the side of my car, chipped the paint off, it's now starting to rust. I want to nip it in the bud before that actually becomes a real issue. So that's what we're dealing with today. Uh, so we're almost to Keen. Well, another 20 minutes, and then we'll uh, get this going. I have some bad news, which is I forgot my backpack and my coffee at the house so I have no nothing to drink and nothing to do for the three or four hours I'll be at the dealer today so maybe I'll test drive some cars yeah, a really weird issue with uh, shifting turn right onto US route 5 like it, it didn't want to shift from second to third I think was the issue oh, it's 35 here <laughs> Second gear, uh, oh, something happened there. In a quarter mile, turn right onto the trail. Uh, I will do one more pull here and then I'll uh, turn it off. Let's go for the engine. The engine doesn't get very many hard pulls lately. It's just been commuting to and from work, which is right like, you know, five miles each way. Still got it. Look what I found. OEM wheels without any scuffs at all in the front. Good looking rocker panels. Clear headlights. Really clear headlights. Wow, this is a very clean R32. It may be lowered. It's really hard to tell. There's some ice here. I don't be careful I'm not slip. Yeah, that thing looks really clean. I want to take it home with me. I want to see the price of it without slipping and falling here. I can't see in the seats. Eh, normal wear, but not too bad. This thing looks so clean. What is the price on this thing? 04. And I cannot see, and I don't want to really. Eighty-one thousand miles. That's it. Wow. Wow. What a deal. Jeez. Really cool. There she is. For Heather's Valentine's Day gift, I bought her chrome exhaust tips. Aren't those beautiful? I paid um, $88 for them. 20% off, Heather, because I'm a good guy. 340,000 mile maintenance done. Sounds nice in there. Sounds nice and quiet. Car. Yeah, they hand washed your car, unfortunately. Um, but now we're waiting for my golf to get done. They're doing a, a bunch of stuff to mine. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, and we're done. The total bill <laughs> was cheap. It was really cheap. Uh, yeah, this car does not get cleaned very much in the winter time. So, um... The only thing that cost me any money today was the alignment. And uh, I'll go through that in a second and kind of talk to you about, about that situation. Okay, so you can see here the, uh, it stopped, the file stopped playing. 
and there's nothing I can really do about it. It's just sort of stuck. So if I unplug this, it turns off. If I plug it back in, phone connection failed. It'll do this for hours. And the only fix is to hold down the uh, power button for, I don't know, 10 seconds. It'll reboot and then uh, that's the fix. But I have to do this probably five times a day uh, in an hour drive. That should do. It's a little off kilter. Hi guys, it's Adam here. I uh, just got home from uh, Keen. Got some uh, stuff from the dealer here. And um, let's go through it real quick. This will be a real real quick uh, follow up. Uh, I had them do the alignment, so I'll, um, I'll put that here so you guys can see what they did there. Feel free to pause and uh, take it all in. Things were good. Uh, front camber right was one and a half degrees uh, negative. They corrected it by 0 0.6, 6 tenths. Um, rear toe, left was a quarter degree. They put it to 10.10, .10, sorry, 25th quarter. Uh, right was 0 0.2 degrees. They put it to 0 0.10. And then uh, total was 0.45, they put it to 0.20. Um, other than that, everything else looked good, all within specs. It's not a race spec, it's just a normal dealer spec. So, um, I bought a, uh, for $88, I bought Heather some uh, chrome exhaust tips. Um, they were 20% off. They fit the Beetle, the Golf, the Jedi, I think. She's got an, an SEL, which is like a $36,000 car, but it's got, uh, with all the options, but she has these ugly metal little exhaust tip things. So I told her the Valentine's Day gift. She said, uh, no, it's not a Valentine's Day gift. Good luck finding one that's better than exhaust tips. But then again, I'm the guy that offered to get her a gas card for Christmas uh, because she uses a lot of gas. She put like 30,000 miles in her car in a year. Okay, um, the MIB2 CarPlay issue. Well, look at this. We've got a tech bulletin. Tech Bulletin with no solution. Um, so basically every car with MIB2, 2016 to 2018, all VINs, all transcodes, all engine codes, uh, Bulletin is 91-17-08TT. Uh, radio may intermittently lock up or self-reboot. The, uh, the code came out in 1124.17 was the original um, Bulletin and nothing to do about it. So they said just uh, follow up with them in a few months. Until then, sorry about your radio. So here's my bill for the day. How can I, I guess I can uh, take this, my information out here. Got, so here's what we, you guys have watched the video, you know what I went in there for. They did everything. Um, we, they found, uh, they were not able to fix the screen. The, um, they did my exhaust system and found no leaks. They did the alignment they looked at the, the driver's side door that has the little spot in it, which I'm going to take somewhere else, and they uh, checked the battery. And um, here's what I paid. Nope, oh, sorry, over there. Eighty-two dollars and forty cents. Uh, they only charge you for the alignment. So the alignment is eighty dollars plus tax, uh, but no charge for anything else. They did estimate the cost to fix that little dot on the side of my door. It's the size of my finger now, smaller than my finger, like a pinhead. Uh, it would be three hundred dollars because it would require repainting the entire door. The local body shop said if I can get the paint. Um, from VW, they would do it for 50. Not the whole door, just that spot. They would, you know, script around it. I don't know. I'll probably do a fifty dollar one. Uh, exhaust system sounded good. So basically, from eight to eleven, yeah, three hours they spent with my car. Uh, they charged me eighty dollars, eighty two forty. Uh, no, yes, VW continues to be like amazing because the local shop Miller, they'll say if your car is modified, we don't even want to see it. Uh, and if they fix anything, even if it's in warranty, like for example, my time my clock wouldn't set and they were like uh, that's gonna be $150 because your car is modified or this little piece over here this little plastic piece right here this came loose this was this adhesive came loose oh sorry you can't even see it right there that adhesive was uh, coming loose and they said uh, that'll be $100 <laughs> I said it's under warranty it's six months old and they said well your car is modified uh, Everything, every problem that I have, I take it to no yes, and they just go, well, your car's in no warranty, of course. Now, of course, if the engine blows up, 
that's on you. Transmission problems are on you. Uh, you know, uh, uh, fuel system issues, turbocharger issues. That's all. That's all you, Adam. That that's totally on you. But uh, an adhesive, uh, a clock, uh, an exhaust leak. I mean, I expect eighty dollars for the alignment plus one fifty for diagnostics, and um, eighty bucks. So it was a good day. Heather had her forty thousand mile service. Everything except for the oil change. I changed her oil two thousand miles ago. So forty thousand mile service is done with her car. Uh, they were not able to fix the issues we've been having with, with our cargoes on lint mode. It's fully stock. Um, there's a fuel uh, sensor, knock sensor, knock sensor. The knock sensor will freak out. We'll uh, be 10 minutes within cold start. We'll um, enter into traffic. Uh, the car will, will immediately jump to second gear. So if you're in sport mode, transmission mode, she's a six speed, not DSG. If you're in sport mode, uh, it doesn't happen. But normal mode, uh, for the eco reasons, the car wants to get to second gear as soon as possible in third gear and fourth gear. It really wants to get higher gears for fuel economy reasons. So being second gear, well then all of a sudden if you hit a hill or have to speed up a little bit more, it won't downshift to the first again. It just it just stutters, EPC light comes on, and the turbocharger uh, power gets cut. It goes into limp mode. So you're pushing the gas and you're getting, you're, you're still in second gear, you're getting throttle response, but there's no boost at all to the throttle response. So you have to get off the road, put the hazards on, power cycle the car, and then come back on and it works fine again. And uh, five or six times this has happened and they couldn't find any codes in the system that proved what we were talking about was real. So they said, when it happens again, come see us. Thanks. Uh, and I understand where they're coming from there. You know, I know that I read a few things online that said that uh, knock sensors were replaced um, and that fixed the problem for a lot of people, but maybe I'll just go buy the part myself and, and get it done somewhere else and resolve it on my own. But Anyway, so uh, 40,000 went good. Her car was in fine condition. Uh, they said overall our cars were in great condition. And I'm, I was like, of course they are. Of course, I, I maintain them. Um, they were a little annoyed they didn't get to do the oil change in her car. But, you know, I went to AutoZone and bought 502 spec oil in the right weight for Heather's car, full synthetic, for 29 bucks, and then included the, the oil filter. Uh, I had to go grab, source the O-ring and the drain plug um, myself for a dollar or two a piece. But, yeah, it's easy stuff. And they did do her air filter and her cabin air filter. I knew they didn't need to be done, but let them do their thing. 26 bucks for, I wish I had her thing in front of me. 26 bucks for an air filter. I paid 19, so it's not a big deal. They had an air filter, I think they charged 20 Twenty dollars for it. I paid twelve, so it wasn't really a huge amount of money. But um, yeah, I, I have a great experience with uh, with No Yes VW. Talked to Spencer while he has an R32 there for sale. If you're in New Hampshire, you want an R32, an 04 with eighty thousand miles, with a. It says it's still in warranty. It must be some kind of aftermarket warranty they've put on it. Fourteen grand. So fourteen thousand dollars, you can get eighty thousand mile manual 04 R32 in silver, reflex silver, I think. Uh, it is flawless. I mean. I'll, I'll cut to the clip. Go 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 buy it. If I had 15 grand, actually, I I got my tax refund today. <laughs> Speaking of that, and I did get 15 grand back, but all that goes towards paying off our solar panels because I got the tax rebate thing. Um, so I have the money for the R32 right now. But if I were to pay that off, it's basically what you do. I'm sorry for the digressions here. Uh, I financed the solar panels at zero percent interest for 18 months. Um, with a special like green energy bank, uh, green sky is the name of the company. Um, and the deal is I have until May 1st to pay off the, I think it's 13 and a half or 14,000 that I financed with them, or I get it with a 30% interest rate, like, and it's, it's retroactive. So there's no payments for, for, for 18 months, no interest for 18 months because they expect you to apply your federal tax rebate to the, um, to the account to pay it off in full within that, that, that time frame. Uh, and if you don't pay it by May 1st, even like if you have $1 balance, they will retroactively apply 30% interest times the 18 months, uh, all at once. So it's not, you know, 30% of 15 grand, it's like 30% repet repetitively over and over again. So, uh, yes, I, I did get the money today to buy an R32, but all of it's going to a bank. So that's the fun thing of being an, an adult is where you're like, I woke up this morning and I'm like, Heather, I have... A lot of money in my che checking account, you know, I, I don't keep any money in that. I keep the money to pay the bills and the rest goes into savings. So, like, holy crap, I've got 15 grand in here. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's the federal thing. I got to, that all goes to the bank, money in, money out. So, if you're unlike me and have 15 grand to buy an R32 that is in flawless condition, 
uh, please go see Spencer. He is an amazing guy. He has an author to himself uh, on, um, he has a uh, Mark IV GTI for sale on Bring a Trailer. Uh, it's up to three grand. It's four days left in that bit, so you should go bid on that. Uh, wonderful guy. He's a really great guy. We talked about the Golf R a bit, the new All Track, how the Atlas is doing. We talked about the digital cockpit and kind of how the screens react in the cold weather, and they're a little better than what I'm seeing in my system here. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's all good. So um, I guess thanks for watching. Great VW service day. I was, going in today, I thought I was going to have like a $400 bill. Um, and oh, by the way, all these other problems are going on with your car. In fact, no, $82.40. So I splurged by buying Heather some uh, chrome exhaust tips. You're welcome. All right, guys, happy Friday. It's uh, February 9th. You'll probably see this the 12th or something. Have a great day and uh, ride.